Hello everyone, some satellite imagery here of the Nova Kokovka Dam. First, a before and after shared by M.T. Anderson on Twitter. The top one before, the bottom one after. Now first of all, the damage to the dam. The bit that has mainly collapsed is on the Russian side, which brings to mind the possibility of charges being used to demolish it. The western bit of the dam looks like it remains intact according to the image. This bit is where Russia demolished the section after the Kherson counter-offensive when they retreated. So I think that rules out it being structurally weakened because of that and just collapsing. I'll discuss weakened because of high more strikes in the next image I look at as it shows the dam a bit clearer. As for the flooded area, you can see the water has risen, flooding those central islands in the Dnipro River. You can also see flooded areas on both banks, with settlements on the eastern bank at the bottom of the screen, looking to be the worst impacted. Now here's a before and after image of the dam itself, zoomed in quite well, showing again the damage is on the Russian side. This clearly shows that the dam was breached in multiple areas. Now, I'm far from an engineer, but would a weakened dam, structurally weakened dam, collapse in multiple places at once like this? Now, I'm just going to divert to last year. This shows the section of a bridge which were hit by HIMARS. Some of the damage highlighted, so Ukraine's efforts hit the areas highlighted in red and white. This is the bridge itself, not the dam. Going back to the satellite imagery, it was this section here, so not the sections which have collapsed. So I don't think these HIMARS strikes would have weakened the dam, as these were hitting the road, and two, the collapsed areas are a bit further to the left of them. Here's a small video from Sentinel-3, showing the extent of the flooding. Notably, the eastern bank of the Dnipro looks to be the most affected, with towns and villages along the area flooded. Of course, it is likely more areas are flooded now. This is better shown in this compilation of satellite imagery here. So this compilation shows three flooded areas in the Kherson region. Nova Kukovka, Kazatska, Korsunka and Krinki showing the effects of the rising water in these regions. Again, as with the last one from Sentinel-3, it's likely even more flooded now, as this satellite image was taken earlier today. Here are the locations as shown on a Google map. So that's it for this video, a short one, but one I hope you found interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.